think that's some pretty good, uh, pretty good headway. I'm gonna get my uh, hammock hammock up, and we'll probably start cutting up some yep. vegetables. Maybe get this up and going. Yeah, we got a long, uh, long way to go on cooking this. So let's get that rolling. Before I get a little trail spice in the meat, a little tainted meat. First things first, getting this put together, we gotta get our vegetables cut up. We have, we did not pre-do that. Um, I'm gonna get that cut up right now. Stick around. Fresh as possible. And I have the freshest vegetables. Now I have the freshest of vegetables. Excellent. Uh, Best little cutting board for this, huh? This is all the damn carrots. I got one bag, I'm sorry. Okay, no carrots. You want some jalapeno carrots? What about some blueberry muffins allspice? Come on, kid. Let's just do it the right way. Huh? Let's just do it the right way. Snap them? Yeah. Yeah, I always do. Don't matter to me, it keeps the bugs out. I'm just going to do those when it comes time. Anybody know when it's actually supposed to start raining? Or just sometime tonight? Alright. You wanna get that on there? Oh, so it's still not like it's not right. It could it could rain, but it might not. It's like a sixty-one percent chance all night long. So we might get rain on, we might not. Maybe the weather man's 60% wrong. Maybe. Maybe 60% of the time he's wrong every time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, vegetables are all cut up. We're gonna cut this brown sugar bacon up and throw it in. Nope. Not that one. We, this one's for later. That one's for a snack later on. 
Oh, we're waiting. Eat raw bacon on camera? I'll eat raw bacon on camera. I think I've done it before. Raw bacon on film. I didn't know if you had done it. Huh? I didn't know if you had done it for yourself. Oh, the YouTube channel. How big? Like that big, you think? Yeah, remember, they're going to shrivel up. I do. Should we just cut them in the quarter? Half and then half. Half? I guess that would be. Yeah, I can quarter them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. Longer around. Well, I'm about to do that. I'm about to get some out of the trees, you know. <coughs> and now look at it. Here you go, Bill. Coming right at me again. We got these uh, chuck roasts from Rachel's grandma, my fiance, in which we are uh, getting married in seven days. So this is the stag. FYI, FYI, this is the stag campout. Stag campout. Stag, a mini stag. bachelor, second bachelor party. My second bachelor party. So. When we're gonna season this meat, we're only gonna do the Trinity. You know what that is, Brad? Some SPG. SPG. Shout out to the, uh, what is it? The first, the first. Alright, that's basically what's in this little jar is, uh, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. So. I'm gonna get one of those and just make it as a steak. Look like Fred Flintstone. Yeah. Trail spice. It ain't uh, we ain't cooking out in the woods if you don't got dirt in your food, you know. So what's up? First time ever using this old Dutch oven. I've had it for damn near a year. Almost, I got it kind of cooking last year. So Joey's going to come in with just a hair of uh, some brown sugar seasoning by Kinder. It's uh, pretty good uh, sweet potato seasoning. I like that a lot. Just to ampen up the, the flavor a little bit. The brown sugar bacon. Can you smell it? You smell it? Maybe it's just this thing in my face, huh? No, I can smell it. He's getting ready to destroy my spatula. Luckily it's not mine, you know? Like a cannoli. Alright, we're coming up in here. We're gonna go two chuck roasts deep. A little SPG. Yeah. That is perfect size. Excellent. Let that uh, do its thing for a little bit. We'll get back to you in a second. Pretty sure. All right, we're gonna give these a uh, toss. Yeah, your son's gonna come up on this side. How's that look? Got 
dropping on the ground. Yeah, right in the dirt pile. Yeah. Oops, I guess. Oh yeah, it looks like that. Get the juice is squashing. Alright. You get that thumbnail. You get that thumbnail. I get that thumbnail. And I don't mind telling you, I'm gonna have me a bit. Take me a piece of the bit. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Get to the next step here. Don't mind me while I'm trying to get a couple more, a couple more garlic. And we're fine. Just so everybody that didn't see it. No. And yeah. you haven't changed. All right. Food. Some percent. Let's get these lifted up real quick and put them on the... Here we jump. Let's take some meat stick. You want to put them underneath? Yeah, I think that'd be the best way to do it. I'm going to go with the vegetables underneath. Put them in there? Mm-hmm. Bread. Two. This is four cups of beef stock going in. Grandpa, this one's for you, bud. That was wine. Alright, I shouldn't even dump it on that old guy. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Want to put another thing in there? Not yet. Yeah, let's put a little bit in. Let me go ahead and put at least like one more cup in. So we're going to be five cups in. Guys, shut them down. Here, throw some thyme on there too. All right, this is fresh thyme. Gotta have time for time. Time for time. Try not to put the sticks in. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
want me to chop a tree down and shove it in there? So, this is gonna have to do its thing for about four hours. So, by the time that we get to this next step, you're probably not gonna see any daylight. So, we're gonna throw a couple of uh, coals on the top of this and we'll get back to you here shortly. Shortly. Alright. Gonna put some little seasoning on here too. Can't forget that. Salt, pepper, garlic. And some more of our Kinder's brown sugar seasoning. It's gonna be good. All right, let's do it. Turn. Get the leaf that came in there out. Meat's cooking down real good. See how she's looking. We're about four hours in. Oh yes. That's looking pretty good. Yep. Mm. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna get some of this juice and we're gonna make a gravy out of it over here on my twig stove. on fire over here. Twig stove on fire. Fuel. All right, here we go, guys. Starting to get a simmer on this. I'm just going to come in with my roux. Pre-made that roux at home. Equal parts fat and flour by weight. 
and then you put it in the freezer. Put it on a sheet pan and then put it in the freezer. This should thicken right up. No clumps. Took that flour taste out. How much clout? And we ready to go. You ready, Joe? Whenever you are, bro. It's it's ready. Do what you're getting. Sweet potato. Look at that sweet potato. Good. I'm walking blind. Holy. Some of this gravy. Is the gravy okay? Yeah, it's good, dude. All over the bacon. <laughs> Well, only one thing left to do now, Andy. Let's uh, finish this. Alrighty. Let's see what the hype's about, huh? A little piece of bacon. Mmm.